All right, we are back. Hello, hello. Sorry about that. That breadstick was really chewy. <laughs> like, super chewy. But we're good. We're all here. I'm here anyway. <laughs> I'm assuming some of you guys are here. Oh my god, that breadstick. Like, I don't know how to describe this, but my mind feels like it's open. Like, it feels like my, my, like my brain has been cracked open and and brain juice has been poured back in. I feel like my brain cells are coming to life. It's an awakening bread. <laughs> I think that means I need to eat more. Was it a breadstick or a bread roll? <laughs> Sorry, breadstick. it in juice to make eating easier. My bad. Did that come through twice for you guys, or was that just me? <laughs> I think that was just me. Um, <clears throat> no man's land. Oh, I'm on the beach. I'm on the beach, bro. Oh, uh, but <laughs> it's harmony. Harmony! Oh goodness. Uh, hello! Uh, what's up? I'm, uh, uh, I'm not nervous. You're nervous. <laughs> hello? Oh god, you again? She is privy, but she scares me. How are you still in my head? She's like, she's literally like my rocket view. <laughs> I've always been in your head. I'm just a magical manifestation of your innermost. Yeah, yeah, I don't need the whole presentation again. Anyway, way to save the town, Mel. You just let them get away, huh? It's not over yet. We're trying to come up with a plan. We? You sure didn't chime in during that meeting. I guess you're leaving it in the hands of the real pros. Oh, shut up. I've somehow ended up with the fate of the world in my hands, and I'm trying not to have a panic attack. Is that why you're running away? I just need some fresh air. The last thing I need right now is your negging. Oh, lighten up. You know this is all a charade. If anything, Verena taking your magic away will be a blessing. Look how much trouble it's caused you. You'll get to quit pretending to be someone you're not and go back to being regular, boring old Melody Amaranth. And Allison can quit pretending to be supportive of this little role-playing phase. What a weight off her back. She's not pretending to be supportive. Allison really loves me. Both of these things can be true, Melody. Do you ever notice how many times she's brought up the idea of you quitting? Or how reluctant she is to even call you a paladin? She wouldn't. Th this is all paranoid nonsense. Just give it a rest. Melody? Uh, Mel, there you are. Been looking all over for you. You doing okay? <sighs> oh, <laughs> this is a really hard response. Uh, share my fears or be confident. Uh, <laughs> be confident <laughs> I'm holding it in, in there I guess Mel can we talk about something oh, I didn't want to talk about something that's why I wanted to be confident <laughs> what's up I I don't think we should be the ones to challenge Verena <gasps> oh damn it <laughs> no Allison, you're just gonna confirm Melody's fears. What? What are you talking about? Who else could even do it? I don't know. But Mel, this is all way out of our league. We didn't sign up for this. We just wanted to fight some whole hounds and scrounge around for treasure chests with our friends. On um, we were doing great. You were doing great. But now we've got a reality-bending freak and a literal goddess of magic ready to wipe our town off the map. He 
Yeah, since Claire gave us Verena's magic, remember? That's why we're the only ones who can face her. I know, I know. So what's the problem? We're made it this far, haven't we? We haven't even begun to see what they're capable of. They wanted us to get this far. It was all part of the plan. Most of the monsters we fought have been jokes. Sometimes literally. But who else could have even hope to face Javis and Brina? Besides, those eggs were not jokes. They were serious eggs. Did you see what hatched out of that egg? What's our alternative? I don't know. Mel, I know you want this to work out. And believe me, I do too. But if something happens to you out there, I... If you got hurt or worse, I could never forgive myself for letting that happen. I can't let you do this. What about everyone else who's counting on us? We can't contact the outside world for help, and Faith and the other paladins have to protect Green Ridge in case this is all another trap. It has to be us. I don't want my weakness to screw everyone over. Melody, that's not what a... I know it's not what you said, but it's what this is all about. Melody mad. <laughs> We wouldn't be having this conversation otherwise. Face it. You've been practically babysitting me this whole time. You've tried being supportive out of pity, but you don't even see me as a real paladin. Oh no. I should've just been honest. I should've just been honest with my feelings. I regret everything. I regret this. No one does. Mel, you know I won't think any less of you regardless of how you do as a healer. See? And you won't even call me a paladin. Why is that, Allison? Why do you suddenly care so much about being a paladin? Oh! This was never something you wanted before. Oh! You only got the idea a couple months ago because I wanted to be an adventurer and you wanted to support me. I feel like I'm just taking advantage of your kindness and you're afraid to tell me enough's enough. But we're so far beyond what you or I or any of us could ever handle. This is what happens when you hold your feelings back. Wham! You don't do that. It's Teens Movie 101. I'm sorry. I'm just... I was hoping to avoid drama. <laughs> like this. <laughs> you don't have to put yourself through all this for me, Mel. What the hell kind of relationship is that? That's not what this is about. Then what is it about? I... I don't know. I just... Damn it! I'm an Amber's Paladin! I can't have this right now. I need... I... Damn it! <laughs> Allison, I thought you were the one person who would always have my back. Whoa, hey, come here. Look, I'm sorry for raising my voice just now. Why can't you just say that you believe in me? I do, Mel, but I'm not going to encourage you to get yourself killed. That's not what I need to hear right now. Mel. Oh no. Just leave me alone. I think I need some space. Mel, I don't want to leave you in tears like this. Please, Allison. Okay, fine. If that's what you need. I'll be back at my place. I'm sorry. I love you, Melody. No! Harmony! Get away from me! <laughs> Harmony, you made this happen. <laughs> wow, I hate to tell you, I told you so, but... What? No comeback? Fine. It's no fun when there's no back and forth. See you later. Well, blame everyone but yourself. You know what, Foxclaw? Don't be real with me right now. I'm sad. <laughs> Common cat behavior. <laughs> that feeling even your depression what doesn't want to talk to you? Oh, oh, Halo. Halo, you hit me right into Doki Doki with that. <laughs> that hurts. I'm just 
I'm still stuck on this. I don't understand. Claire, why would you feel the need to use Barina's spellbook in secret? Are you kidding me? Faith, you must know how competitive of field magic is. I didn't have any opportunities like other people did. I didn't even get to start seriously studying magic until I was already an adult. <laughs> Thank you for the bad pads. I need it right now. Everyone's fighting. I'm fighting. I've just been on my own here. If I wanted any hope, Al. <laughs> Al, stop it. <laughs> if I wanted any hope of making it as a witch, I had to figure out a way to help myself. I get where you're coming from, Claire, but you didn't have to do this alone. I thought that maybe the guild would be a positive influence on you. Everyone... <laughs> Everyone's bullying me right now. But you're still making these rash decisions on your own when it comes to magic. Why do you assume that I wouldn't have helped you? Because no one ever does? Claire, I don't know exactly what your life was back in Brightport, but things are different here. You have people who care about you. A supportive network. Yeah, and I'm an embarrassment to all of you. That's not... Oh, don't act like I don't know how everyone talks about me when I'm not in the room. I'll admit, I'm not happy about the mess we're in, but I'm disappointed in you because I know you're capable of so much better. Maybe I haven't been the best friend, but I would hope you would still consider me one. We can't keep up this vicious cycle, though. I want to help you, but you need to admit that you need help. You're right. I'm sorry. I need your help, Faith. Thank you, Claire. Oh, perfect timing. Who's that from? This is a response from the one person who may be able to help us. Her name is Zinnia. She's my personal mentor and also a good friend. Oh, Zinnia. I've heard so much about her. We finally get to meet her, huh? I wish it was under happier circumstances, but yes. We don't normally like to bother her with problems around town, but this is no ordinary disturbance. We need to bring in the big guns. If anyone might be able to face Verena, I believe it's her. Claire, I'm giving you another chance to help out here. I want you four to go talk to Zinnia for me. Her home is in the mountains east of Amber Woods, behind a magically sealed gate. You'll need this key to get in. She'll be expecting you. You're also free to investigate the valley, since Verena set her base is in that direction. You can get there by heading north from the Amber Woods. Adventurers like to hang out around there, so you may be able to help find... Find some help there. Or at least better gear. I'll leave that decision up to you. Jody, one more thing before you go, dear. Sure, Faith, what is it? I'm sorry that I'm asking you to leave again so soon after getting back. I wish we didn't have to be apart at a time like this. No, it's okay. I understand. Your duty to Green Ridge comes first. And besides, I gotta take responsibility for this mess I helped us get into. I owe that much to you, at least. Well, anyway, I wanted you to have this. Aww. That's sweet. Oh, it's beautiful, Faith. It's more than just a keepsake. I've been working on a way to keep in touch while the phones are out. If you hold this and channel just a little mod into it, they'll temporarily summon me to your location. Hey, I, what? I want a girlfriend locket. Hold up a sec. Can I get one of these? Anytime. Anywhere. Wow. But what if you're, like, busy? I have to accept the sun first, so don't worry about catching me while I'm in the shower or anything like that. I feel terrible that I can't be in two places at once, but this should be a happy compromise. It's perfect. I'll be sure to keep in touch. You can make me one? Please, I need one for Kurt. <laughs> I am on a Kurt withdrawal right now. <laughs> okay, are we ready to go? I guess so. Also, sorry about the, uh, scene in there. Let's forget about all that and just focus on helping Faith. God, I feel awkward right now. I don't think I've talked to... God, I feel awkward. <laughs> sure thing. Welp, Melody, you take the lead. Is something wrong? I... I think I need some space for a little bit. 
I hurt myself. <laughs> Damn it. If that's okay. Did something happen? Mm. Where's Kurt? Kurt's out of town for the rest of today. And tomorrow, so she's not going to be back for a little bit. Wait, you two didn't have a fight, did you? You can't just ask that, Claire. Claire, please. Claire. Uh, Melody's magic is literally fueled by the power of love, so yeah, I think it's relevant. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I know that my magic's not going to work right now. <laughs> I don't really want to get into it. Don't worry about me. Besides, we got a job to do. Let's just try to stay positive. I'm just going to hang behind for now. Jody, you should take the lead. Oh, well, sure. So wait, if this game is full of lesbians, how do they make more lesbians? Well, not everyone's a lesbian, but there's a lot of lesbians. <laughs> there are people who aren't lesbian, though, just to clarify. But there's a lot of lesbians. Oh, well, sure, if you think you'll be more comfortable that way. I guess it's time to head out, then. I guess we're playing Jody in the lead. See, like, there's this dude. This dude's not a lesbian. You don't seem shaken at all by recent events, Mr. Leon. What a phony baloney invasion that was. Nobody even died. Why should I care? Well, uh, that's one way to look at it, I guess. Please, I'm not going to sugarcoat my opinions. I'm too old for that. Those weirdos were all flash and no substance. In my youth, I had both. Okay, dude, you calm down, man. And what was with all the pink? Are fire and brimstone not good enough for today's villains? Trust me, if you want to see real evil, just wait until my pepper's all grown up. Did I hear the theory of Dora being a lesbian? I did not hear- you mean like Dora the Explorer or some other Dora? That is a chunky grumpy cat. He is. He's a retired evil sorcerer. Well, I'm glad you're staying positive, Mr. Leon. Hold on. I need to talk to Mr. Fortune Teller. How can I help you today? Read my tarot, please. Ah, tarot reading. Excellent choice. I'll be doing a somewhat simplified reading here. We'll draw three cards to represent your past, present, and future. Now, who will this be for? Me? Um. Oh, Melody doesn't want her fortune told. Okay. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> Let's do Allison. All right, yeah, let's see how great my future's gonna be. Please keep your boys down. My girlfriend's trying to get some sleep upstairs. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I like Jody. Jody is pretty. She is. In my infinite wisdom, something tells me you're going to write this off as nonsense the second I draw a card that's even slightly negative. But I get paid either way, so I don't really care. Now then, behold, your mortal life lay before me. Past, present, and future, arise. For your past, the lovers. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, this, yeah, I had a feeling that this fortune reading would be awkward, and I was correct. <laughs> Not necessarily romantic love, that's just the most straightforward interpretation. It's about focusing on partnerships in a broader sense. <laughs> and yes, it can also mean following your heart when it comes to romance. For your present, the tower. Isn't this a really bad one? Oh, this one can be terrifying, but it's just about how you roll with the punches. Perhaps literally, you adventurers have a habit of getting punched on the regular. The tower presents a tumultuous period of great change. Things you thought you could rely on before may be swept out from under your feet. These changes may or may not involve your dreams being crushed. Again, it all depends on how you respond to change. It's interesting to see this after lovers, though. The tower can at times <laughs> Guys, guys, I'm worried. <laughs> guys, <laughs> I'm, I messed up. I made a, I made the wrong choice earlier. 
Okay, you totally picked these cards out by hand to mess with us, didn't you? If you remember, I foresaw the skepticism before I began your reading. Finally, for your future, we have the Hierophant. It's so over. <laughs> it's never been more over than this now. This card should be a little reassuring to you after the last one. Why exactly? The Hierophant is a card saying that when a time is right, you'll do the right thing. But keep in mind that means doing what's right for both yourself and those around you. It also doesn't necessarily mean going with the easy choice. If I had to guess, I would say this means you're going to make the right call and... Spend more money at the local fortune telling shop. <laughs> well, that was a waste of time. I know this is all fake, dude. If it was real, you'd be telling me about my sick future exploits as a legendary hero, right? Sorry, you're right. I forgot a card. It's a lesser known 22nd Major Arcana, the bunny with the sword that nothing bad ever happens to and she also finds a giant pile of gold. See, now that's more like it. That was a very painful uh, card reading to go through. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hmm. What can I buy? Geomancer. Ooh. Bard. Ooh. That costs money. But. I love to spend money. Let's see. Hmm. Rejuvenating tune, confusing tune, D power chord, and diminish chord. Interesting. Interesting. Is there, I wish there was an easy way to look. Hold on. Can I look at... I wish there's an easy way to look at these spells. Um, I'm gonna try... I'll try these just to see how they're like. I can tell from your expression that you don't have my item of ultimate power yet. Okay. Spellbooks are special pieces of equipment that can teach you a whole set of new abilities. As soon as you equip one, you can use all the spells in the book right away. You don't have to worry about training or your level of experience or nothing. You can just cast them along the book as equipped. As also, they're kind of heavy, so every party member can only equip one spellbook at a time. Make sure you buy a lot of them. I always buy them. Come on. Don't I have a quest for you? Yeah, I have, I have some quests going on. I have to find an item of great power from the Amber Woods, and I need to help Holly with her posters. Let me go talk to Holly. Where is Holly? Holly, where are you? Are you here? Here she is. Hey, Holly. We saw you wanted help posting notices in the park. What kind of notices are we talking about here? Some wanted posters or something? Nah, it's something way more important than that. Check this out. Green Ridge Wrestling Lead. Are you bad enough for them? Tryouts every week in this June. Talk to Holly or Rhett from the Paladin Brigade, not Province. <laughs> that's a very cute poster. <laughs> this is officially the sickest thing that's ever happened in this town. Hell yeah, it is. I'm kind of surprised you got the energy for wrestling on your days off, given your line of work. Well, not every week is as intense as this one. Which, you know, is a good thing. But if I don't hit my recommended monthly quota for grappling them, my soul cries out in agony. Makes sense. Before we can have an indie wrestling league, though, we need more fighters than just me or Rhett. Whoever designed that poster deserves a medal. So true. So true. I want her to design a poster for me. <laughs> I made these posters. It was Holly! <laughs> Holly deserves a medal. But Province is already mad at me for using the office printer, so I can't get away with putting these up on the clock. That's where you come in. Why didn't you just cut out the middleman and put a poster on a notice board? Gotta be honest, nobody else reads a notice board except y'all. Anywho, here's some posters. 
If you could put up three of these in key locations in Amber Woods, I like think it'll get people's attention. Why the Amber Woods? A good wrestler is courageous, but also romantic deep down in their soul. You're making it sound like this is a scheme to expand your romantic horizons. Nah. Although I do believe that love can bloom in the ring. Big muscle pupper. She do be. Anyway. No problem, Holly. We'll have that done in no time. Let's see what else we can get going. Let's go to the shop. Hey guys. Golden Gauntlet. Ooh. Lunar Wand. Shield T. A, a shirt with a picture of a shield on it. It works, I swear. <laughs> heart circlets. Not made with real hearts. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, that should be good. Wait, oops. I accidentally skipped part of the conversation. I need to start over. Hi, welcome to our shop. So wait, have you guys seriously been buying your adventuring gear from kids? We literally have a big box store a couple of neighborhoods over. Jody, you don't understand. It's a local business. I'd rather support local business. See, Claire gets it. Claire understands. And we deeply appreciate that. To be honest, you guys are the only support this local business has been getting. What do you need all this money for anyway? Are you raising money for charity or something? Stickers, mainly. I thought you said you were saving up for college. Nah, change our minds. Do you have any idea how many stickers you can buy with this much gold? I don't actually. Well, it's a lot. We're going to redistribute them to our classmates. Oh, how Jenner. That way, we're sure to become the most popular girls at Green Ridge Elementary. We'll be like feudal lords. Especially if we get the horse girls lots of horse stickers. They'll be indebted to us forever. After that, the rest of the cliques will fall like dominoes. So yeah, please buy lots of junk from us so we can take over our school. Why are all the children so... ambitious? I was not this ambitious when I was young. Man, I was definitely not being a child correctly. We got new products. Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to sell some of my extra stuff. Oh yeah, let me see if I can get a better weapon. Let 
Do I want more attack or more magic? I don't use a lot of magical attacks, so I'm gonna go with this. Mmm. But just in case, I'm also gonna buy a wand. Just in case I wanna switch it up. So I can go honestly either way. But I'm just gonna go with that for now. If the adults are the ones advent wandering out and doing magic and adventures, the kids need to be the ones ambitious in the economic side. You know what, Foxy? That's a fair point. That's a very fair point. Also, I need to check out her shop, too. Mm, I have plenty of stuff, actually. I'll just buy a couple more of these. Thank you. Hey girls, what can I get for y'all? Side quest. Hey Beverly, how are you holding up? I'm managing, I suppose. Things have been busy around here, so I haven't had the time to dwell on it. Besides, the bad guys are gone, so that means everything's better now, right? Uh, not quite. Oh. Sorry, but it's probably for the best if we don't get into the specifics. We're working with Faith to try to make things right, though. Beverly, is there anything I can do to help? Oh, well, you could. Actually, no, forget about it. My problems aren't important when so much is at stake. Nothing could be further from the truth, Beverly. Say the word and I'll be there. Well, if you really think it's okay, then Sean and I could use an extra pair of hands around here. I know you've got your adventure stuff now, Claire, but whenever you got the time, even a couple hours of waiting tables would be a lifesaver. I guess I haven't flaking on you a lot lately, huh? Well, okay, Beverly. I'll come help as soon as I can. Okay. Alright, so we got a few quests. Including the one that we need to do. So, I'm gonna do like all people do. And go through all of these side quests before dealing with the main story. I don't need to worry about the world ending. I gotta wait tables. <laughs> hey Jody, how's the guild? Actually, y'all look like you don't want to be bothered right now. Forget I said anything. Hi Sean, how are things holding up? We didn't see you during the attack. I was out running an errand on the other side of town when all that went down. I wish you could have been there to look out for Beverly. Between you and me, she's not doing too great. She seems like her normal self to me. Trust me, I know my sister. She's good at hiding it, but she's been on edge. At least you were there to help. Personally, I'm just thankful that she and the restaurant are still in one piece. What's up here? Oh, that's probably their room. It's a good thing that they put a toilet in here. Oh, you know what? I do want to buy food, though. Food. Some food heals more than others if you like it. Ah. Ah. Interesting. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh! I didn't mean to buy 12 of those. Uh, my bad. <laughs> uh, we have a lot of that now. Whoops. So much candy. I just can't get enough of the candy. Right, guys, I don't think there's gonna be any more kisses between me and Allison right now. <laughs> I just realized that I've been kissing her at the beginning of every fight, but that's just too awkward to keep doing now that we are like on a little bit of a out of break. Hey, I didn't get a chance to thank you guys for your help the other day. Oh, don't sweat it, Rhett. More candy, please. All right, I'll go back and buy more. <laughs> Really, though, that attack was something else. Where would you say it ranks on a scale of emergencies you dealt with? 
<laughs> Somehow nobody died, so I can't say it was the worst disaster we've ever seen. But in terms of pure chaos, I've never seen anything like that. Knowing that the goddess of magic herself was involved sure is, sure does go a long way towards explaining how the hell that was possible, though. Not that it makes things any simpler, but hey, it's not my job to answer those questions. Right now, my job's just to keep an eye on the forest field. Yeah, about that. Isn't there supposed to be a big bubble around the town? I don't see it. Oh, it's there. It's just invisible. Keep people mon monsters alike from panicking. It's also tuned so that certain people like us can pass through, so you're free to head off into the park. How convenient. I'll take care, Rhett. So how do I know where these key locations are? Oh, it has that one. Seems like a good spot as any for one of Holly's posters. That's one. Where else can I put them? Plus, I'm also keeping an eye out for an item of power, uh, powerful destruction here, I think. Some sort of powerful object. Are there spikes here that I can go through before? There might be some. Aha! Oh hey, hi dude. Back at work over here, I see. Gotta stay on that grind, you know how it is. Unfortunately, I do. No big deal, though. This'll pay off eventually. I haven't seen a lot of interesting advice I've been finding online. If I invest it all in one really promising company, then I can't lose, right? Easy. I'm no financial expert, but I'm pretty sure you can, in fact, lose by doing that. I'm sure he's fine. You gotta admit, it's a pretty nice orb. Hmm. I don't see a powerful object here, though. This tree has a heart on it. I can't do anything with it, though. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh yeah, there's another side. Okay, I was like, hmm. Danger. What about the north side? There's nowhere to put a sign up here. Maybe up here, though. Ah, here we go. Okay. I did it! Now is the other one. Retrieve the item of great power from Amber Woods. Okay. Where could that item of great power be? Gonna be up there? How do I get up there? Another heart. Why do some of these trees have hearts, but others don't? Ooh, there's a sparkly over there. Oh god, I'm really worried about... Basic earth attack. Basic earth attack for all enemies. Powerful earth attack. And encases the user in a rejuvenating shield for three turns. 
drastically increases defense and heals HP, but you can't move. Huh. Okay. Hmm. That's kind of lame, actually. Restores between 300 and 400 HP to the whole party. If passed by Melody, this also bells her star power. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Reduces the physical attack of all enemies by 20%. Reduces magical strength of all enemies by 20%. And cause one non-boss enemy to become confused. Oh, okay, so this is actually a pretty good alternative for Melody. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of like my auras, but that's also pretty good. Easy. Oh, I learned full revive. Oh my goodness, I am so strong now. Okay, so I think I'm gonna switch the book back to Glitchcraft. So I like Glitchcraft more, and then I think I'm gonna turn you back to Inner Beast. So I also like that more. A flower crown? Ooh. What does Flower Crown do? Oh, okay, so it would be a slight increase to magic. I have a feeling I was supposed to find a Flower Crown earlier. Well, that's fine. I thought it- Ooh! 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 Is that the object of power? That looks like an object of power in that gold chest. <gasps> Wait. I can- she can summon Faith now. I kiss her. I'm gonna do that. So, you know what? There needs to be some kissing going on because uh, right now it's not happening between me and, uh, me and Allison. Object of power. I don't know what it is, Nova. This must be what Pepper wanted. A knife? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, huh. Is this really it? Hmm. On the one hand, as adventurers, we're honor-bound to complete our missions to the best of our abilities. On the other hand, is it really a good idea to give an eight-year-old a knife? No, but Pepper already spends all day obsessing over dark magics and hanging out with her ex supervillain grandpa. How does that make it any better? I'm saying she's already harmless with way scarier tools at her disposal. She'll probably just carve her initials into stuff. But if you still think it's too dangerous, we can always hand a knife over to her mom instead. Maybe Catherine will give us a reward. When you put it like that, would I rather keep a child out of trouble or be a snitch? Yeah, tough call. <laughs> what do you guys think I should do? Should I give Pepper the knife or give her mom the knife? Be honest. Be responsible, adult, and give the kid a knife. Give me the knife. <laughs> uh, Vina. I did give you a knife. Make an emo joke with Rocket Mew. What's stopping you? It's bad. Hmm. Maybe you shouldn't then. If it's really that bad. All right. Let's go give 
somebody the knife. I think these monsters are all so much weaker than us. Welp, thanks for trying, but it looks like the monster problem hasn't gone away yet. What could have possibly riled them up so much? I've never seen anything like this. It's, uh, special circumstances. Special how? We've been asked by Faith not to say too much, but we're taking care of it. Well, I sure hope so. Oh, and hey, here's a map of the park for your quest log. Just in case you need it. Thank you. I'd appreciate it if you didn't go snooping around in my fire lookout tower. There's lots of confidential forestry service stuff up there, like my bed, my field guides, and uh... Okay, maybe it's not all that top secret. I bet you... I bet you must get a great view of the park from up there, huh? Yeah, it's one of the nicer perks of the job. That and knowing I'm keeping the forest from burning down. Speaking of which, y'all are behaving yourselves and not using any fire magic out here, right? Ha, yeah, who would be reckless enough to do that? That sounded kind of sarcastic. Did it? Claire, can you look me in the eye and tell me it won't start any fires? I'll certainly try. Well, that's probably about as good as I'm going to get out of you. Yep. Oh, Claire. Everyone's so destructive. I'm trying to get back to town, not away from town. Moment of truth. Give Pepper the knife? Yes. No! <laughs> Wrap Pepper out? Of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> hmm. Difficult decision. But after the last time where I made a terrible decision and I can't even kiss my girlfriend anymore. Um, I'm gonna go with the right decision here. Yes! Well, here you go, Pepper. Wait, really? What exactly do you plan on doing with the knife? Uh... You know, I hadn't thought that far ahead. I kinda didn't think you'd give it to me. Wow. The raw power. You know, it's just a regular knife, right? Come on, didn't you say this would help you take over the world? Let's hear your evil scheme. Well, my power is already quite fearsome, so having this will really push me over in the fearsomeness department. Just promise to be careful with this, okay? Owning this- owning this is a big responsibility. Yes, I promise. And here's your reward! I'm sure she's fine. Now let's talk to Holly. What's up? All done. Right on. Thanks for the help. So what if you don't get any takers? Hey, Ren and I just go back to doing flying elbow drops and stuff on each other. You know, I might have to join you one of those dates, but I'm too busy saving the world. We'll save you a steel chair, Allison. Anyway, here's a reward for a job well done. Oh, thank you. 
Jody is now level 20. Wow. Oh my goodness. Righteous blow. So strong. Alright, I guess while we're here, why don't we go ahead and help out it? I, I feel like if I help out, maybe there's a chance that also Claire can suddenly start kissing Beverly. We need all the kissing here. <laughs> Hi girls, what can I do for you? Hey Claire, you ready to get to work? You betcha. This will be easy. Okie doke, Claire. You know what to do, right? Uh, yeah. It's okay. No need to be nervous. Just take people's orders, give those orders to Sean, and then bring people their food. Easy peasy. And thanks again for making time for this, Claire. I'll be in the kitchen if you need any help. Okay. Okay, customer service mode, activate. Hi, welcome to Higgledy Piggledies. What can I get you? I think I'll just have the soup of the day. Thanks. Coming right up. Okay, soup of the day. One soup of the day. Here you go. Butter nut squash soup. Cool. Here's your soup. Say, shouldn't you be wearing a hairnet? Uh... Reassure, I'm, don't worry, I use a chow in my hair to make sure it doesn't get into the food. Oh, okay then. Well, thanks. This looks great. I mean, I wouldn't say the other thing. Why would customers wear a hairnet? <laughs> Hi, welcome to Piggledy Piggledies. Sorry, Higgledy Piggledies, damn it. What can I get you? I'm in the mood for something sweet, but I have a quick question about the menu item. I have a peanut allergy. Oh, dear. Are there any peanuts in this? Are there any peanuts in the peanut butter bars? Well, are there? Yes. Yes, there are. Yes, I'm afraid there are peanuts in that. Would you like something else? I guess I'll just have a hot fudge sundae then. Coming right up. One hot fudge sundae, hold peanuts. Sure thing. One hot fudge sundae with no peanuts. Enjoy. Thanks, dear. You just gotta you just gotta be nice. You just gotta give them the food. Hi, welcome to Higgledy Piggledies. What can I get you? I'm having trouble deciding. Say, is it okay if I go off menu? Oh, God. Uh, what would you like? I heard about this place that serves food with real gold flakes on it. That seemed real snazzy. You got anything with gold on it? <laughs> <laughs> gotta, gotta just get through this. Be polite. <laughs> uh, why would you... Uh, okay, it's fine. It's fine. The customer is always, sometimes, not always very right at all. <laughs> Sorry, but we don't serve anything like that. Is there anything else you'd like? Could you ask someone to make sure? Okay, I'll be right back. Sean, this guy wants gold flakes on his food. Like gold gold? Yes, like gold gold. We don't have that. I know we don't. What do I tell him? Tell him to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Sean. <laughs> you know I can't say that. Just get him to order something we actually have. We got other customers waiting. <laughs> Terribly sorry, sir, but we don't have any dishes that come with gold flakes. Well, that's a shame. You should consider some new menu options. Is there anything on the menu that you would like? Hmm, nah, I think I lost my appetite. I just have a water. Water is free. Is there nothing else I can get you? Hey now, I don't take kindly to upselling. 
Just get me that water. You're taking up a booth. <laughs> Gold Flakes guy just wants water. Wow. Big spender. He enjoys it. Ah, here you go, sir. Here's your water, sir. Thanks. Five gold? Okay, fair. I guess for water, but for ha me having to deal with that, not fair. Hey, it's Kiva. Hi, Kiva. How are you I doing? I like how I am higher quality than you. Blush, you w -U. Okay, Ricochet. Listen. You have the privilege of being made later. You should be grateful. Grateful. Okay? Besides, I had to make you high quality to at least match how I am semi-shaded and stuff. I couldn't go... I had to go hard, you know, I had to put go all out on you. But don't... Hey. I'm gonna be 2.0 eventually rocking you, so you better... Better watch your tone, man. Watch your tone, young man. You only exist because Wham allows it. Take that as mercy. Meanwhile, he's like, I don't want to exist. I rather would be somewhere else. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. Oh, you flustered him. <laughs> he knows you're right. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Higgledy Piggledies. What can I... Well, I was hungry for a fish fillet sandwich, but this price can't be right. Well, that price does include a drink and your choice of two sides. Baloney. The place a few blocks over charges half as much. What kind of scam is this? I ruined uh, the day I was created. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> you know, none of us here ruin it. All of us enjoy it. Um. Come on, you just gotta get through this, Claire. You got this. Sorry, sir. If you'd like, we have some cheaper options, or you could order it without. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna order that damn sandwich, and I'm gonna pay what I think is actually worth. You better impress me. Sean, can I kick that guy? One fish fillet sandwich. And it better be the best one you've ever made, because I don't feel like having it thrown back in my face. Yeesh, what's gone into people today? Well, here you go. Here you are, sir. Could you have taken any longer? Uh, I literally just... I hate those people. Shoot him. I'm going to. I'm going to unleash my magic on him. Are you trying to starve me here? Well, anyway, let's see what we got here. What the hell is this? I beg your pardon? Only two pickles? And they're not even centered properly? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna put up with your shit. Looks fine in me. What are you, blind? This is ridiculous. I deserve to be treated better than this as a paying customer. I wanna see your manager. Hi there. What seems to be the problem, sir? Where do I even begin? The prices are sky high, the service is slow, and the food isn't even prepared properly. I have half a mind and never eat here again. I am sorry that your experience hasn't been better. <laughs> I cry, this is too real. <laughs> is there anything we can do to fix this? Maybe a free drink? Ha! Nice try. How about an entire free meal? I'm afraid I can't do that. But how about a dessert on a house? Boy, you're difficult. I see where that bitchy waitress of yours got her from. Oh! Oh my... Can I kick him? Can I... Can I beat him up? <laughs> Beverly! I will not take this! <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me, she's worthless. <gasps> I'll just bring you a sandwich! If you had any sense, you'd fire that. You made her angry! <laughs> you listen here, mister. You can insult me, my cooking, and my restaurant all you want. But you do not get to talk about Claire like that. Hey, what do you- <laughs> That- that is Beverly right now. 
Get the hell out of my restaurant. You got him. You got him. You got him good. <laughs> A manager. Well, in this case, it's Beverly. Beverly is the best manager. So sorry about all that. It's fine. It's part of the job. I'm just thankful for the save. I almost frosted that guy. <laughs> I would have done worse if I knew as much magic as you. I get why you want to quit, though. I love my job, but it's not always laughs and smiles, no matter how hard I try to be a positive influence. I don't hate working at Piggledies. I mean, I get to be around you. Bless thee. I like that. Aww. I guess after what happened, I'm just happy we have a restaurant to go back to at all. Even on a bad day like this. Okay, I learned from my thing with Allison that I need to be honest. I'm going to be honest here. Beverly, I, I need to come clean about something. What? The attack on Green Ridge the other day? That was my fault. I'm the one who got the attention of those bad guys. I'm the reason that you almost lost everything. You don't have to forgive me. I don't expect that of you. I know you'd probably be better off without me causing you so much trouble. Claire, I don't really know what's been going on with you lately. I wish you would tell me, but I get that it'd probably go over my head. But whatever happened, I know it's not your fault. You would never do that on purpose. I'm fine. Really. And whatever those guys were after, they're responsible for their own actions, and you're responsible for yours. Besides, town invasions excluded, I kinda... Like that you caused trouble. Huh? Why? It makes things more interesting around here. How passionate you are about magic and monsters and all that. You're honestly one of the coolest people I've ever known. Aww. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, Piggledies was my favorite place in the world because of people like you. I'd hang around while my parents worked and I'd get to meet all these adventurers who were passing through town. <laughs> Finally, I get a W today. <laughs> people with dreams and so many interesting stories to tell. Those are some of my happiest memories. But those dreams of yours are why I know you have to leave. Piggledies is my whole life. When they get sick, Sean and I promised our parents that we'd keep the family business going. But that's not your problem. Even if we won't see each other as much, I would never stop you from being a full-time witch. I don't want to hold you back. I just want to hear all your cool stories from time to time when you're back in town. It doesn't have to be that way, Beverly. There's something else I've been meaning to tell you, actually. Oh? I... I like you. I like you a lot. As more than a friend. It's cool if you don't feel the same way. I just, uh, wanted to put it out there. To make sure you knew. I guess what I mean is, my life is changing, but I still want you to be a part of it. I know we're both busy with work, but maybe sometime, when you have a free night, we could go out? Like on a date? Oh yes, a thousand times yes, Claire. I thought you'd never ask. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I've literally had a thing for you for ages. Come on, I'm terrible at hiding it. I get flirty all the time. You do? I thought you were like that with everyone. <laughs> Claire. Claire, oh my god. No, silly. I really like you in particular. I just thought you weren't interested since I'm, you know, so boring. No way, Beverly, you're not boring. You're the nicest, sweetest person I've ever known. These last few years of my life have been so much better with you in it. Oh, come here, you. Ah. 
Aww. They're so cute. I needed this so bad. I needed this. <laughs> Yay! Oh damn, I should've kept it on the screen just a second longer. So it's a date? It's a date. Uh huh. Gee, Claire, you've seen awfully chipper for someone who just got done working food service. Wait, did you? You didn't. I may have. Oh my god, finally. Victory Royal, let's go. <laughs> I thought you nerds would never break the ice. Holy crap, congrats, Claire. Yeah, well, turns out the potential end of the world is one way to light a fire under me. So things are heating up already, huh? Getting real hot and heavy with you and Beverly, really? No, 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 stop. Stop. Let's just get back to the mission. Yay, quest complete. Whoa. Yay, I knew it. She can now summon Beverly for moral support in battle. Everyone can get the kiss. Well, I guess everyone except me and Allison right now because we're having a bit of a... We don't need to talk about it. <laughs> We don't need to talk about that right now. <laughs> oh, interesting. I didn't realize it counted other kisses. It's at 87. It was at 86 before. That means other kisses count. I have so much kiss potential now. If the game wanted to twist a knife, they would never get to see each other again. Halo. Halo, you can't say that. Halo. <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today's playthrough. We'll come back to this, though, because I need them to get back together. But I think I want to end on a happy note. <laughs> and the happy note is Beverly and Claire finally got together. <laughs> You've doomed them all. You did this. You're the reason why the world is ending. I hope you're happy. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the race screen. So hang on tight. Don't worry, though. We'll come back to this game not too long from now. Probably we'll actually... So... I'll say this more on the just chatting screen, but we'll come back to this game soon.